I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time and welcome to St. Bart's. This tiny French island is huge on flavor. There are so many fine chefs here. Like the one who served us something he called a seafood hot pot the other night. The broth was so fantastic, I said you should serve this as a beverage. Well anyway, that is my inspiration for this week's Chow Time. Since I'm using swordfish for my St. Bart's swordfish hot pot, um, I grilled it because I want that grilled flavor, that smoky flavor. And of course, whenever I grill something, I, uh, I brush on mayonnaise on both sides so it won't stick. I've got a little bit of olive oil in my pot. I've got three cloves of chopped garlic. I'm going to saute that for just a minute. Now I want to add one large diced tomato. Boy, I'll tell you, if this turns out anything like we had at that restaurant, I'm going to be very happy. I'm trying my hardest to recreate that flavor that I, that I had at that restaurant. I'm going to add a couple of spices. How about a teaspoon of dried basil? And a good tablespoon's worth of turmeric. And next comes some chicken stock, or you can use fish stock. There's about four cups there. Pour that in. I want to bring this to a boil, put a top on, and then simmer it for about 15, 20 minutes just to get those flavors married. So I'm just doing this by hand kind of shredding that swordfish. You know, you can use any kind of fish you want, but when you see a local fisherman pull up a swordfish and carve it right in front of you, you get swordfish. I'm going to add my swordfish to this wonderful broth. And the heat's still on low, so I can kind of warm the swordfish through. Now I'm going to add some heavy cream. And a cup. And hot sauce. And it just depends on how hot you, you like your stew. So I'm going to do Oh, probably a couple tablespoons worth. Oh boy. Stir that through. And we are ready to serve. Okay, first, a scoop of rice. Sure smells wonderful. There. I did it. This reminds me of that fabulous meal we had. You know, I think there's only one thing missing is you have to get an entire baguette per person.
to soak up this wonderful broth and sauce. And at the restaurant, it tasted so good. If I didn't have manners, I would have licked the bowl right in front of the chef. Hi. Oh, you want some dinner too? Oh, there you go. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, you're so beautiful.